The dozens of buses parked up at this depot in Bristol gives you an idea of just how far passenger numbers have fallen. Almost every single one should be on the road right now. Staff like Tom now picking up fewer than 10% of their pre-lockdown passengers. We'd normally have more than this out on a Sunday. As you can see with the roads, the roads were a lot quieter. Um, everybody's staying at home. This then, the social distancing solution. Three quarters of all their seats taped off. This is one of their larger buses. So normally on a service like this, you could have maximum 76 people seated and eight more standing, so 84 people in total. But the new social distancing measures mean the new maximum would be just 23. But of course, they are still paying all their normal costs and economically those numbers just don't add up. As each bus drives out of the depot, it starts to cost more money to operate than it can possibly collect in revenue. So, um, but the short term answer to that is what's actually happening, which is that central government is covering the cost of it. So, and if the central government weren't covering the cost of what we're running today, there would be a very significant problem. Last month, the government announced a £167 million support package to keep key bus routes running. Many key workers still rely on buses. Others, though, say coronavirus means they're uncomfortable on public transport. I know a few friends that are still using it intermittently. Um, I don't feel comfortable using it, so I've been taking long walks to get to various destinations. I'm going to work at the moment, it's about a mile walk. So I, I feel like as long as there's appropriate social distancing measures, like I personally feel comfortable, but I completely understand why someone might not. So. If and when passenger numbers do pick up, the solution could be to send out multiple vehicles. And that could mean you wait for a bus and then two come along at once every single time. Andrew Plant, BBC Points West in Bristol.